Hey, what's happening guys? Hope you're having a good day. Today we're going to talk a little bit about transistors. I need to apologize for the air conditioning running back there, but this evening it's kind of hot and muggy here, so we got to have it. And before we get started, I got to tell you guys, I had a sleep study done last night, polysomnography. This is where you go into a uh, sleep lab center and uh, they hook you up to a, about a hundred different wires all over your body and watch you sleep because my doctor fears I may have sleep apnea. We'll see. But anyway, I actually felt like uh, the subject of an electrical experiment last night with all those wires dangling off me everywhere. I would ask the, uh, the lady who was hooking me up if she knew where my PN junction was, but I feared she wouldn't get it and would take it in the wrong way. So anyway, we're going to talk about transistors, like I said, and transistors, well, let, let's cover the basics, are a semiconductor, which can take a small current pass it through the transistor and control a larger current. The transistor can act as a switch or it can act as an amplifier. And the basics of all modern digital electronics are right here. The transistor as a switch or an amplifier. Now, a transistor has three leads coming off of it. And if we draw the transistor something like this, just bear with me on this drawing. I think you'll, you'll get to understand it here in a second. So if this is the base of our transistor, this is the emitter, and this is the collector, and if this is an NPN transistor, then what do you see? What if we cover up that? Well, you see a PN junction. And it works the same way if you cover up this. You see a PN junction. So, with a PN junction, we know there will always be a voltage drop of about 0.6 volts. A PN junction, a voltage drop, what are we talking about here? Well, it's basically a diode. So the simplest semiconductor is the diode, the NP junction, or the PN junction. Add another PN junction to our diode, and we have a transistor. So what happens is, again, let me draw another representation of our NPN transistor here, okay? Our emitter, our collector, and our base. So if we have our collector hooked up to say a light bulb going to say positive voltage something like this and our emitter going to ground something like that 
Well, nothing is going to happen. That bulb is not going to light until we give at least 0.6 volts into the base, which opens up this junction and allows current to flow through the collector emitter junction. And if we just have the base, okay, say we're, we're at five volts here. This is our five volt circuit. So if our base is at zero volts, our bulb is off. If our base is at five volts, our bulb is on. And what we've created is the transistor as a switch. The simplest form. Let's take a look at that. Okay, I got you zoomed in way close here so you can see everything that's going on. So first of all, over here, we have five volts flowing to the positive rail and we have our ground rail. Let me, let me just zoom out a couple clicks here so you can see the whole thing. Okay. So in place of our bulb, I have an LED with a current limiting resistor on the cathode. So here is our plus five volt rail. We're bringing five volts into the anode of the LED through the anode, through the cathode, into the collector of this transistor. This is a 2N2222, just a standard little NPN switching transistor. Then here we have the emitter going to ground. Here we have a 220 ohm current limiting resistor on our base because we don't want to put too much power through it. And our base is currently connected to ground. When we're dealing with digital electronics, we don't want to let anything floating. So we want things either connected high or low. Right now we're connected low and the bulb is off. The LED is off. All I need to do is move it from ground to five volts and our LED is lit. Base high, LED is lit. Base low, LED is not lit. So these are our digital logic signals of high, low, one, zero, on, off. That is the simplest use of the transistor, transistor as a switch. Now let's talk about the other use for it, transistor as an amplifier. Okay, now in this example, transistor as an amplifier, I replaced the 220 ohm base resistor with a 100K uh, potentiometer. One side connected to plus five volts, one side connected to ground, and the middle wiper connected to the base of our resistor. And you all know what's going to happen. As I turn the wiper, the LED becomes brighter. But let's put, well, let's pick a spot here first of all. There. That's about one third on. Now let's hook up an ammeter first on this side, then on this side, and we'll be able to see the amplification. Okay, I've brought in two meters. The O1 is hooked up here in line with the base of the transmitter, a transistor, and the 8008 is hooked up in line from the plus five volts to the anode of the LED. So they are both measuring current. Now the O1, if you look here very closely, you can see is measuring microamps. The 8008 is measuring milliamps. So let me bring up some power here.
and you can see the LED is lit we are getting three microamps input to the base and 0.7 milliamps are being output all right so for the uh, 2N2222 transistor we can see that a 4.5 microamp input to the base gives us about a 1 milliamp output and if we turn this baby all the way up there's 64 microamps going into the base 13 milliamps coming out of or going into the collector so that is the transistor as an amplifier now we've used the um, bipolar junction transistor in this case the BJT we haven't touched on the other main family of transistors the FET the field effect transistor and we'll get to them at a later date but I hope you guys like this simple introduction to transistors as a switch and transistors as an amplifier if you did give me a thumbs up check out the patreon page there's a link down below and a big thank you to all the guys who have donated so far to keep learn electronics going I really appreciate it and at the end of this video and at the end of every video I'll list their names if you just donated and you don't see your name there don't worry it'll be on the next video I make these a day or two ahead of time trying to you know keep ahead of schedule I won't forget you you didn't forget me I won't forget you I promise I'm out peace